Today, we're gonna to be diving into the Google Python cert that has a needlessly long name, the Google IT Automation with Python Professional Certificate. Whew, that's a mouthful. And I have gotten a ton of comments and messages telling me to redo this video as I did it about two or three years back. And look, tech certs are everywhere these days. Some are gold, Others, not so good. But this one, the Google IT Automation with Python cert, it has been on my radar for a minute. Now, if you've seen my other cert reviews, I do not sugarcoat anything. I go in raw, no filter, and I tell you the good and the bad. So here's the deal. I'm gonna be breaking down everything about this cert in six different categories. I'm gonna be rating each of them from one to 10. No fluff, just the straight up truth about whether this is worth your time and money in 2025 and who it's going to be worth their time and money in 2025. And spoiler alert, I was pretty darn impressed for certain types of people that are in certain situations, but let's get into the why. So what exactly is the Google IT automation with Python professional certificate and why is the name so long? Well, it's a beginner level program on Coursera. No experience needed. And Google claims that it will make you job ready in Python automation, which is a super valuable skill to know. Now, the CERT is a six course package. First, crash course on Python, the foundation stuff, which is about 20 hours. Then using Python to interact with the operating system, basically making Python talk to your computer, 33 hours. Third, introduction to Git and GitHub version control, super important, 20 hours. Fourth, troubleshooting and debugging techniques, finding and fixing code problems, 19 hours. Fifth, configuration management and the cloud, scaling your automation, 18 hours. And finally, automating real world tasks with Python, the capstone where you actually build stuff and you make a portfolio, 16 hours. Now the curriculum is stacked. You're getting the whole package here. And that's why I love it. It's not just theory, you're building a real portfolio, stuff employers actually care about. So for a beginner cert, the depth is impressive. So you're learning Python, Git, troubleshooting, cloud skills, the works. Now, is it perfect? No, it could go deeper on some topics, but for what it is, an entry point to Python automation, it's pretty solid. So first let's talk about the time to completion. Coursera says that this takes six months at 10 hours a week. Now that is laughable. Let me be real with you. This can be done way faster than that. And pretty much all of the reports that I've heard from students have said the same thing. So from what I've heard and seen from students, reviews online, viewers on my videos, etc., most people crush this cert within one to three months max. Now to be completely honest with you, Coursera almost always overestimates these timeframes, probably to make it seem less intense intimidating and probably to make the cert seem more legit because perception matters. But what's great is the flexibility. You can blitz through this in a few intense weeks if you want, or you can spread it out. Compare that to boot camps that lock you in for three to four months minimum or a CS degree that eats four years of your life. And that's pretty good. So the time to skill ratio here is honestly incredible. So when it comes to time to completion, I'm gonna give this a solid nine out of 10. So now let's talk about the cost. Yes, that's right. We're gonna be talking money. Now with this one, one, you've got a few options. Option one is the Coursera Plus subscription, which is around $59 a month or $399 annually. From time to time, they have some type of special where it's less than that. Now this Coursera Plus subscription gives you access to thousands of different courses and certificates. Option two is you pay just for this certificate, which is about $49 a month. And then option three is you apply for financial aid. And this takes some paperwork, but it is doable. Now keep in mind, I do get these comments on my videos from time to time. The prices change during the year, they change at different times, they might change based on your location. So just click the link in the description of the pinned comment below to check the price for you. Now also keep in mind that if you click that link in the description and the pinned comment below that you will get a seven day free trial. So you can try it out for seven days completely risk free. Now let's be real about the value here. This is ridiculous. Boot camps will charge you $15,000 for similar content. College degrees are gonna cost you anywhere from 50 to $100,000 and four to five years of your life. And the potential return on your investment is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. We're talking over a hundred times ROI, no exaggeration. Plus there's a seven day free trial. So you can just test drive it before committing. So for sheer value, I have to give the cost a 10 out of 10. It's practically theft at this price. What's happening guys in the editing process of this video and I have an opportunity for a select group of people. So these are people who are serious about growing their personal brand on YouTube. So basically we figured out recently how to grow a personal brand and combine all the upsides of a personal brand with the upsides of automation, right? Using AI, using things like this to basically grow your personal brand 10 times faster, which in the past used to take decades to do. 
And now you can do it significantly faster. And you can do this to get a better job. You know, we work with beginners that just want to get a better job with their personal brand. You can do this to make money as a side hustle. We work with a lot of people like that. We can do this to make more money if you already have a side hustle or a small business. Or if you're already crushing it on YouTube, we can help you crush it 10 times more. We've worked with people like that as well. I mean, I literally can show clients at each level. People that we've gotten from zero to over 10K, zero to like over 30K, uh, from like 1K per month all the way up to 185K per month, from around 30K per month all the way up to over 500K per month. So literally at every single level and it works for everyone in every situation. With that being said, we are only working with three to five people and they have to be people who are very serious, right? People who are dedicated to making this work. So if you think you're that type of person, go ahead and apply it down in the description and the pinned comment below. And you can be part of our group of three to five that we help. So see you there. Have a good one. Now let's talk about demand. And this is very important because you can learn lots of skills out there that have absolutely no demand. And that's the problem with most college degrees right now. And according to the data, there are 19,694 job openings for automation engineers in the US at the time of writing the script for this video. So that's almost 20,000 opportunities. And Python automation skills are blowing up. Everyone from startups to Fortune 500s need this. And this is where Google's name matters, aka their brand name. The Google brand name carries serious weight. Companies like Deloitte, Target, Verizon, and Google themselves recognize this certificate. And so I've literally had viewers message me saying that this cert was the difference maker in their interviews. You're essentially jumping the line with this on your resume. Now, is it a golden ticket? No, but it's a major advantage. So for industry demand, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Now let's talk about salary potential. Coursera claims that the median entry level salary for automation engineers is 115,000. Now these numbers are not a joke. Python automation engineers make bank. But reality check, first of all, the location matters. If you're in New York City or San Francisco, you might hit that right away. But in smaller markets, you're going to start off a lot lower than that, probably around $80,000. And before you become an automation engineer, you're likely going to start off in lower level positions. And another thing to talk about is will this certificate get you there alone? Probably not. You'll need to prove yourself, but 100% can get your foot in the door into growing into the job. So you add a few projects, you hustle, you build your portfolio, and hopefully do a little bit of networking and you're gonna be golden. So for salary potential, anything involving automation is super hot right now. And even though the market in general is down, I'm still gonna give this an eight out of 10. Now let's talk about production value, AKA the actual learning experience. Now, Google doesn't mess around. This is top tier content. The videos are professional, the exercises actually work, and the platform is smooth. The UI is clean and intuitive, and you're not going to be fighting with buggy software while trying to learn. And what separates this from random YouTube tutorials is the structured, thoughtful progression from actual industry experts. And the hands-on projects are legitimately useful. So you are literally building a portfolio as you learn. They also have forums where people can talk together, which are great. So for an automated course slash certificate, this blows just about every other platform that I've looked at out of the water. But that's still the problem. It's an automated certificate, right? You're not going to get hands-on feedback from those professionals. You're not going to get a coach to see your blind spots or to tell you what you're doing right or wrong. But you really can't expect that from something that costs $49 a month. So for the production value, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. All right, guys, for one month only we are accepting people into our coaching program content growth engine where we help you to grow and make money from your personal brand now this can apply to people who are just trying to get a better job just grow their brand, personal brand to get a better job literally the best way to do this for instance one of our clients josh was able to get an offer from two different fang companies which are the hardest companies in the world to get into even harder than ivy league universities uh, using his personal brand or just as a side hustle right just as a way to make a little bit of extra money on the side we teach people how to do this or people who are already making money to make more money or people who already have a full-fledged business and they're crushing it and they're you know already have a successful youtube channel and they want to optimize their youtube channel and make even more money so we've worked with literally every one of those types of people and what makes our system so good is that we combine all of the best practices of building a personal brand but we use ai to scale things to make it 10 times more efficient it's something that no one else has ever discovered it's an amazing opportunity and that's why i'm so excited to share it with you so we are accepting three to five people into the first cohort you need to be very dedicated right do not apply if you're not super dedicated to growing your personal brand so you have to be serious you have to be dedicated and you have to be willing to put in the time effort and money that it takes to grow a personal brand so if that's you go ahead Apply in the description in the pinned comment below, and hopefully we get to work together. Have a good one.
Bye. Now the cons. So I wouldn't be Shane Hummus if I didn't talk about the downsides as well. No cert is perfect. So here are the real cons. First, some of the Python basics might feel a bit slow if you've done any coding before. Second, the forms are helpful, but official support from Coursera, well, it's hit or miss, right? The people that make the modules are not gonna be the ones answering your questions. And the people that make the modules are the experts. But again, that would be unreasonable to expect. With that being said, I do think they could probably integrate some type of AI question answerer that would provide better support. Third, there's not much on the advanced Python library side of things that some specialized jobs might want. And finally, the peer reviews for some assignments can take time, so you might get stuck waiting. But here's the thing. These are small potatoes compared to the value that you're getting. I've seen far worse issues with certs that cost five times as much. And one thing that you need to understand about certificates and certifications is they are 20% value and 80% perception, right? 80% of the value of a cert is simply how it is perceived by hiring managers and decision makers. That's it. And then 20% of the value is the actual information it teaches you and you know it helping you make a portfolio and all that kind of thing. And I know that that sounds unfair, but you know the world is kind of unfair sometimes. But people do actually respect the Google certs. And I think the value inside of the cert itself is good as well. So let's wrap this up. When it comes to time to completion, I gave it a nine out of 10. When it comes to cost, I gave it a 10 out of 10. For industry demand, I gave it an 8.5 out of 10. For salary potential, I gave it an 8 out of 10. And for production value, I gave it a 9 out of 10. That gives us 44.5, which when you divide that by 5, it gives us an overall score of 8.9 out of 10. Now, the funny thing is, this one I think actually gained in value over the last few years, whereas some of the other certs that I've reviewed lost value. And I think it's because of the fact that automation as a skill set is so valued right now. And this is honestly one of the best tech certifications available. So who should take this? One, if you're changing careers, this is your fast track. If you're already in IT, but you want to level up, this is going to be good. If you're curious about automation, this could be a good starting point, but who should maybe look elsewhere? Well, if you're already an advanced Python dev, this is probably going to be too basic for you. So finally, here's the honest truth that no one else will tell you. The cert isn't magic. It's not going to transform your career overnight. But as far as an investment in your tech career goes, this is about as good as it gets. The skills are in demand, the price is right, and the time commitment is reasonable. And Google has a massively powerful brand name that hits different on a resume. Plus, the reason Google actually even made these professional certs in the first place is because they realized that boot camps, college degrees, and certification companies were not teaching people the right skills that are actually in demand. So this is Google basically desperately trying to tell people like, here are the skills we actually want people to know. So again, check it out in the description and the pinned comment below to see if it's right for you. There'll be more information there. And if you're interested in other Google certificates that might be a better fit for you, check out my video I did on the Google certificate tier list by clicking right here.